brews and banter. Hey, Frank. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, I can say hi, Roman. That's just plain. But, say hi, Roman. Yeah, but every time I say something else, it's I have something I've already repeated. That's okay. I say the same thing every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you start. You say hi, Frank. No, I, I can change it. I need to start this next time. Okay, we'll rewind. <laughs> start. Do, can't you use your little soundboard? <laughs> okay. Hi, Rowan. Hi, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Okay, right. let's see. What are we drinking? Let's start with this. Oh, threesome. We're missing one more person. No, it's me, you, and the beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> yeah, so it's called Threesome from uh, um, Millhouse Brewing Company. Kittle Sour Al with blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry. Yeah, it said something about Captain Crunch in here. Mm. Alcohol 4.8. It says surf temperature 38 to 42 degrees. <laughs> What's so funny about that? I've never seen that. <laughs> Like a set temperature. Oh, yeah. Most of them say, like, serve cold. What am I going to do? Like, test it? Serve cold, right? I guess. All right. Let's put it in these glasses because these things always defrost before we get to this. Just do it. As long as they don't have fucking lactose, we're good. Mm, Didn't say lactose. I like it. Oh, Mm, shit. That's a little foamy. Anything pink is good. Mine looks like a fucking milkshake now because I didn't turn the glass. Look at that. Because the way you pour it. Yeah, but look at the bubble up. Holy I might drink from the can. <laughs> I didn't even pour it that hard. <laughs> the, entire, <laughs> the entire can was like foam. I've never had just a foam glass. <laughs> you just made physics machine yeah. blush. Uh, anyway. What were we talking about earlier before we started? Um, Some. Uh, how much you like me? Urban Dictionary stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you have something you want to bring up? Because I got something. No, go ahead. <laughs> I, I heard. I heard it today, actually. It's called, uh, It's in regards to sex, it's called the rodeo position. Do you know what that is? No. It's when you're, when you're banging your girlfriend or your wife or farm animal, whatever it is you want to bang. And the last minute, just before you ejaculate, you call her by your ex-girlfriend's name. And oh, then you hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> then you hold on and try to see if she's going to... See if she's going to try to knock you off. Get kicked. <laughs> <laughs> the rodeo <laughs> the rodeo and good luck yeah let us know how that ends up <laughs> i would never call my wife roman again <laughs> it's never gonna happen <laughs> i learned my lesson the first time <laughs> oh my gosh cheers cheers oh cheers before tears yeah cheers before rears <laughs> I'm going to fight through this foam. Hang on, let me chew this foam. <laughs> I like Ooh, it. This is a you kettle. like berries? This is a kettle sour. Twigs and berries? Do you like berries? Twigs and berries? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. Twig is your dick and berries your nuts? Twigs and berries? I figured, but I was like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like berries. You know what it means in, in when when people say, put your dog in the bath? Put in a vagina? Put your balls in the vagina. You gotta tuck them in? I don't know. But it, Who has patience for that? I don't, know. I don't even know how to do that. I mean, I can think of how to do it. I give it the college try. But who? That would be weird. For who? I don't know. For me, small balls. They'd be perfect. <laughs> perfect for you. Little, little, little marbles. Let's see what, what else it says about this beer. Our house kettle sour with a trifecta of blackberry, raspberry, and blueberry. Add it for a party in your mouth. <laughs> really? Everybody's coming? Hold on. It says everyone's invited. <laughs> party in your mouth. Everybody's coming. You could do this all day. <laughs> party in your mouth. Yeah, maybe there's a, maybe there's a naughty brewery like. Oh this. yeah, here's what you um, tasting notes: sour, fruity, Captain Crunch berry. Mm-hmm. This is it's this is probably more sour than some of the other ones we've had. You know the actual the actual sourness, but yeah. What do you think? It's sour. 
<laughs> no shit. Mm. It's okay. It's it's um. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. it it's not it's not bad, but it's like um. I think m- some of these other sours we have have a more fruity taste to them. Yeah. Is this does this like seem extra fruity to you? It it actually or does not. It's not as pronounced. Like yeah, it tastes good, but it's yeah. not. Not a punch in your throat, yeah, but that's I probably. Know. I wouldn't say it's a party. No, I'd say it's more like a um, a get together in your mouth. A social gathering. <laughs> yeah, it's more like a brunch, <laughs> a dinner date in your mouth is what this is. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but it's like a, a sour date. Yeah, a dinner sour. What uh, what some some sour we had that was really good. There was a was there a mango sour? No, I don't know what it was, but either way, I and mean, this isn't bad. It's just not as. Uh, like you said, pronounces, I thought. So I'm going to get through it. And if I had another one, I'd drink it. But I don't. Uh, yeah, I think this will be easy to get through. Yep. I'm already. Well, I didn't. I fucking filled the <laughs> glass up with foam. So I'm like, oh, I'm already halfway through. But it was because the foam was gone. What does the uh, sperm bank reception say when people leave? Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so I tell my dad, thanks for coming. <laughs> 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 what about Blumpkin? We talked about Blumpkin. I don't know what Blumpkin is. Blumpkin is when you're sitting on the toilet taking a dump and you're getting a mm, blowjob. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Which I don't it's know what the weird thing you here. know all these. It is kind of weird that I know all these, but um, what else you know? I know a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, I know tons of shit. <laughs> you didn't know Spider Man. I know Rusty Trombone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I know bat wings. I didn't know Spider Man, but I know bat wings from last episode. Dirty San- you know, I was thinking Dirty about Sanchez. it. I don't I think- know Viking Water Bowl. I don't-, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think bat wings is like appropriate. I think flying oh, squirrel. Oh, did, I, did I cross the line there? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying. Did I offend uh, you? No, I'm just saying the application. A flying squirrel makes sense because it's like a squirrel with nuts in its mouth and it's flying. Squirrels like to eat nuts. Yeah, why would his nuts be flapped out? Flying I, squirrel. Yeah, like, but he, if he's got nuts in his mouth, why would they be pulled out like this? They won't be pulled out. But that's what I'm doing with my ball skin. Right, so the skin is like the squirrel, but the balls as if they're in his mouth, like nuts. I guess it could be, but there's also flying squirrels. It's nothing to do with Batman. Like, I don't get the Batman thing. Because they're wings, like Batman. <laughs> you pull them out like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm always show you. <laughs> Bat wings. Can you dress all in black? <laughs> yeah. But like there's also flying squirrels. Like actually like the animals called a flying squirrel. They jump from tree to tree. I thought that's what it was with their That's what I said. Flying squirrel. No, you said something else. No, I I, oh, I said bat wings. I, <laughs> are we just like in different dimension here or something? Know. <laughs> oh. I don't know what's going on. Whew. I um I wanted to bring an interesting story up. So, you know how sometimes we talk about AI mm-hmm. and uh, we had concerns about job replacement and, and one of the episodes we talked about copyright issues. So, I'll read this really quick. John Grisham, George R. R. Martin, and more suing ChatGPT, maker of OpenAI, for copyright. And here's what happened. The lawsuit alleges ChatGPT copying the author's works without permission and then fed their copyright work into the ChatGPT algorithms. But who do you sue? Like, do you sue the computer? Like, who? You, you sued the company, OpenAI. Hmm. So they're they're suing them. And this is what I was talking about when, like, how do you protect that, right? Right, right. Like, if, if, if ChatGPT takes information from the internet to write something, to put script together or whatever um how do you protect it right no I mean, exactly same so with the, uh, your talking about voiceovers also yeah, yeah. And i think this is, and like taking someone's voice mm-hmm. like there's ai software that can like write music using someone like another um singer's voice so like uh like a voice over for music no like say for example you like to listen to uh I don't know. Who's who's your favorite? Like who's popular right now? Who's so, that country singer guy? Well, you know, what I listened to today. I listened to "Need to Breathe" and "Judah and the Lion." 
they have some some song coming out together. It's pretty cool. So we'll call it, let's say Judah. So AI can take Judah's voice, and and you can, and the AI will write the lyrics. For what song? Like what what lyrics? Whatever are you can say, write okay. a song about okay. uh, bad wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant like they can take Judah's voice and put it over a song that's already being played. No, what okay. I'm saying is the AI will write the song and then mm. use Judah's voice to yep. sing that song. Yep. And it's as if Judah is singing yep. the song. Yep. And then you also can have AI write the music to it as well. Mm -hmm. So everything can be uh, AI generated. So that's what I'm saying. How do you protect that? You know, yeah, how do so, you keep AI from doing that? Yeah, because... And we had this conversation before. And another interesting thing they've done is um, ChatGPT created a prequel to a Game of Thrones, what was titled A Dawn of Dire Wolves, and used the same uh, characters from the Martin's existing book in the series A Song of the Eyes and Fire. So mm -hmm. That's part of the... But that's got to be another copyright problem then. Yeah, so yeah. that's in the lawsuit as well. Yep. Oh, I see. So it's crazy. Like How many writers don't have an opportunity or funding to right. be able to partake in this and make sure it's protected well, how long do you think they copy our voice and do a bruise and banner podcast they could yeah i mean if we release enough episodes and ai could use our voice so how do we protect that nah i want to see ai I use your burp. i don't think ai <laughs> i see them use your burp an ai roman burp i think we'll break uh, we'll break ai <laughs> if it tries <laughs> yeah. that you know like a, you know cannot process too vulgar or or you know dumb shit <laughs> dumb shit yeah forget it never mind not worth it <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if ai tries to copy us it would be the stupidest ai ever yeah they lose money yeah it'll just be less intelligent but so getting back to this millhouse brewing um i read on their website oh, yeah, they, tell us more about them they um they value quality creativity and drinkability which is all we do for our podcast as well i forgot to mention where are they from poughkeepsie poughkeepsie new york yeah i said one of these episodes i said percassi but it's supposed to be percassi or something like that and uh, someone someone, cor <laughs> someone someone corrected me but uh on and on their website it says while craft beer may not have changed the world it sure as hell makes it better <laughs> so i agree with that and i'm that might be the first tattoo i get yeah yeah if i if i get a tattoo I mean, it'd be your face on my butt, mm -hmm. and then I'd have that printed over your head, the top of your head, and the bottom mm -hmm. of your chin. Because you should have it like the words, like they're flying, and then go through my beard and come out of my beard. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe little Jimmy can do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> filter it no it'll be like it'll be like me saying dumb shit and it goes through your beard and it comes out really intelligent mm, yeah you filtered it through I, that. I filtered yeah, through, that, through that fucking you've been beard filtered yeah <laughs> beard beardered beardered yeah oh did you hear about that filter beardered. company um shit starts with b i forgot it's like this popular filter company air, air filters water filters water filters I don't know. And anyways, I'll, I'll have to find the name. Um, so they said because they have silver, they're now like deemed not safe to use for filtering. Not because there's silver in the filters? Yeah. And they're like, they've been using it for so many years and it's bullshit. Like uh, somebody from, uh, what is it? CDC regulations or mm -hmm. whoever tests that. FDA or something, whatever. Or maybe yeah. FDA, yeah. <clears throat> Mentioned that and they like start losing sales. Hmm. Which is not true. It's safe to use. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like. It's safe to use silver? One of the best filters uh, for water. I think. So a lot of women, I think their deodorant has silver in it, some sort of. But I think it's cancer causing. No, aluminum. Oh, oh is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Aluminum is bad because it uh, clogs pores. Yeah. And then you have like... But how come men don't have... Why is it not men? Well, it's, it's for both, men and women. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Yeah, you, when you buy deodorant, make sure it doesn't have aluminum in it. Well, that's nice fucking information to have. I thought it was just for women. I'm like, what, they got a different scent that aluminum covers? You're welcome, America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to go check that. Can you, can you look now? Can you check for me? Look for aluminum particles? Look what? Look for aluminum particles mm. in my armpits. Now, how am I going to find that? I don't know. Use a fucking beard well, for that, too. I guess if you, lift filter your, it through there. if you lift your arm up and it's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, get a magnet. Or actually, aluminum it's is aluminum. Not, <laughs> yeah, it's not a magnet. Right. <laughs> I caught myself. It was all right. Did you hear about, did you hear about this uh, asteroid? Some, some asteroid, piece of the asteroid is supposed to, I don't know if it's supposed to, but it has a chance to hit, I think, Earth here Sunday or something like that in Utah. Really? Ooh, that, was like a, that was like a bass drum burp. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to hit like Utah, which I imagine, maybe that's not so bad. I mean, these guys that all thought it was a fucking great idea to have multiple wives, if you just strategically place them, all of a sudden you don't have multiple wives anymore. <laughs> because <laughs> it's really not a fucking good you know idea. You know where it's going to hit. I mean, fuck, if I had multiple wives, I'd strategically place myself under the fucking asteroid. How do you deal with multiple? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Did you watch any of those documentaries about Mormons? I watched Big Love on HBO well, years ago with uh, the guy who died from surgery. What was his name? I don't know. Um, Bill, not Bill Pullman, was it? No, it wasn't Bill Pullman, but whatever. Yeah, there, there are a few documentaries I watched about uh, LDS Mormons and then how like there was one village... They kind of kept it isolated from society. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people do. And they made this, like, fake rules, and some kids were able to escape mm -hmm. and realize what's going on out there, and they're like, fuck that, I'm not going back. But the guy who was um, in charge of it would not practice what he was preaching, I guess. Like he What's would, he preaching? Well, like he was saying, you got to be good, you got to do these things, you got to be providing to community, like, and he would take a lot of money from them. But he'd go and gamble, <laughs> like go hook okay. up with hookers. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all a money scheme. Yeah. <laughs> like some sort of compound David Koresh A lot of bullshit. religions, I think, is like money scheme. Yep. Well, I mean, whatever that religion is, but that... Um, it's like, I'm sorry to interrupt you, <laughs> George Carlin. I love that fucking guy. <laughs> when he said, why is it God has problem money? <laughs> He's all powerful, all great can manage money <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's right oh my god what did he die from not not oh. my god uh, george carlin <laughs> 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 just to clarify that yeah thank you You're welcome. I, I don't know i don't know what he died from oh okay well but he's one of the greatest stand-up comedian in my opinion yeah um i i like do like to listen to bill paxton that's who big love was I don't know the guy. I've yeah, never heard. Well, him. We can go back to your story now. I was okay. just on my head. That's okay. I'm glad, he, I'm glad he came back. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know how magnet and aluminum work. <laughs> Did I? So was I telling you about my tailgate and my fucking truck? Remember how I told you it was stuck? Yeah, it's stuck. You can't open it. Yeah, so it's an older truck. It, I mean, it runs fine. Everything looks good, and, and, and it's just older. So I thought, ah, oh, it's just something wrong with it. So I get in the back of it. I'm fucking kicking it. It won't open. Um, I got a thousand pounds worth of bag stone. You know, I had to put, do this landscaping outside. I'm mm -hmm. loading on. I get in the fucking cart and I put it on the cart and I have to get on the cart to get over my tailgate because I don't want to throw the bag in because I don't want it to rip when I want to throw mm -hmm. So I get on the cart, pick the bag up, put it in my truck, get home, stand on my bumper, pull it off of the, out of the bed of the truck, put on my tailgate, hop off the bumper and then take it off my tailgate. I fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking I just kept doing this. Right. So I'm just pissed. It's been like two months, two two and a half months, and then one day I just woke up and I told my wife, I'm like, I, I, I got an idea. Hang on one minute. Then I went out. So I was driving somewhere in June, and I got to where I was going, and my tailgate was down. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, it's just effective now. Like it's, I got to start making sure it's closed because I don't want to. Right. So I closed it, and then this whole thing happens during the summer. Mm -hmm. So I wake up. I tell my wife, let me go check this out. I go out there. I put the key in the fucking lock and bleep, unlock the fucking thing. Oh my God. <laughs> it was fucking locked for two and a half months. All I just time, forgot I fucking locked it because I never lock it. 
I was I was gonna propose we do some redneck shit with tie uh, chains was, to it to a yeah. tree and then fucking gun it. I, I would I would do it, but I just I I've never locked it in my life. I just did it that one time because where I when I got to where I was going, it was open, so I didn't want it to open again when I was uh, going somewhere okay. else. So I forgot I locked it. Problem solved. Yeah, I hope you didn't I'm fuck the lock up. Fucking dick. No, it works fine. So everything closes okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh jeez. Well, I'm glad that's resolved. Yeah, I'm glad it's resolved after I don't fucking need it now. <laughs> It'd be pretty handy to have a fucking tailgate. You can figure that out before you had to load and unload the rocks? I don't... No, I couldn't. Obviously, if I could have, I would have done it before. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sours. I know. We gotta grade this. I'll, oh, wait. That's, that's the, right. Uh, different grading system. That's right. Um, Do you remember what it is? I'm trying to remember. What they stand for? S is for shitty. Shitty. Well, we did, so we did SPB. They're shitty, perfect, best. Perfect, but, best. Okay. But perfect and best are the kind of the same thing. Yeah. So we got to come up with something is different. Best above perfect. No, we got to go. Best has got to be above perfect because we got to go. S is shitty, and then P, and then we so. So what are you gonna do for P? P is gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but then that's close to shitty. Huh? <laughs> that's close to shitty. No, it's kind of the noise you make after you shitty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> preferred? Shitty um, probably would have again. <laughs> probably would have again. <laughs> B is the best, like you're going to have it again. Okay. Well, <laughs> P. I, I'm, I'm P with this also. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have it again. It's not shitty, but it's just not the best we've had compared to the other ones mm-hmm. but i don't know how many best ones there are out there but um this is probably by design like i said they got they got uh you know not as much fruitiness in it but it's so that's the thing it's not it's not as fruity but it seems to be a little more sour so people that maybe like a lot more sour this mm-hmm. is the beer for them i wonder because the, the taste dissipates kind of quick yep. um so maybe the sourness kind of overrides the the flavor Mm -hmm. and remember how i said some beers have like strong smell Mm -hmm. this one doesn't have that strong of a smell this is not i mean it's definitely nice in your mouth Mm. (laughs) but uh (laughs) you got a party going on there there's a there's a there's a fucking orgy in my mouth right now (laughs) with all the berries yeah mm. berries berry manilow yeah berry Berry white white (laughs) berry sanders (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, yeah. why are they all men is there any woman berry berry white isn't no that's a man who am i thinking who's the betty white betty white <laughs> <laughs> the fuck <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right okay oh uh i wanted to have you like mention the <laughs> what happened at the brewery at the brew fest when you said what oh yeah yeah so we were uh, <laughs> at amazing beer fest last week i mean we had drank <laughs> we had drank we had drank all day i mean we you know i'm not making excuses i'm oh, just telling God. you the scenario here but we drank all day and we're trying these beers out and we get to um this one brewer and uh i'm like what the hell is, what kind of what kind of beer is that the can says I I P A. No, right? no. <laughs> was it three eyes? No, it says double I P A. So it said I I. Well, so it said I I P A, and I'm like, what the what the fuck's the IPA? Yeah, you're like, what's an IPA? <laughs> and the guy's like, that's a double I P A. I'm like, oh fuck. Because <laughs> two eyes of. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck's an IPA? Oh my god. And the guy's like, it's a double I P A. <laughs> I just never saw that. Like most people say, like a double IPA. I'm like, what's, a, what's an IPA? We review beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that was that was Trip Hammer oh my Beer Works. God. Yeah, out of uh, Fairport. So who we're gonna um, go see? Actually. Yeah, we'll we'll arrange something. He's a really cool guy. He, I mean, his name's Scott. Uh, he was he was really cool to deal with. And, and you know, again, we'll we'll go meet them. But I'm like, I just never saw that before. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know. And I, I felt like such a I wanted to kick myself in my balls, but. Do you anyway. hear about um, um, 
auto, auto union pro, um, strike. So someone mentioned something about Ford being on strike now. I don't but know. I don't hear any of this. I hear only about the writer strike. I don't know how many or what companies, but I know there are few union branches, um, auto union workers, and uh, they're striking. Yeah. So how can we don't hear about that much? I don't know. So now there's going to be another problem that's, with fucking cars. I mean, already they're fucking ridiculously priced for new. Excuse me. Yep. And that's right. Yeah, you agree. Sorry. And the used ones are overpriced. And then I saw something about China not shipping something to the rest of the world that's one of the key components of microchips. So I go, well, you know, that's going to fuck things Was it China up. or the Taiwan? Maybe it was Taiwan. I'm not sure. Right. Well, I thought we were good with Taiwan. Are we trying to protect I don't, Taiwan from China? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know that they're trying to screw us. I just think they're not shipping something. Not specifically tar- trying to target the U.S., but... I, I thought we'd get our microchips from Taiwan. I don't know. There's plenty of places we get microchips from. I mean, we're, we're building one here in Syracuse. Well, no, I think there are more, um, more places they're starting to build to develop in the States. So now we're not relying to... Well, I mean, this should be the case for everything. We rely so much on everything other than our country. We should. That when there's fucking problems, we all feel it. You know what else is fucked up is, in my opinion, I don't think any foreign country should own any, any like mineral rights or any water rights, anything on, on our soil. Like, they shouldn't have any rights to, to land, water, power, what do you mean rights? Like in Arizona, I think it's in Arizona or New Mexico. There's a company from Dubai that owns the rights to water. What does that rights mean? Like mean that they can shut the water off and you can't drink it. But to where? To your house. Oh yeah. I don't, I thought you meant like, you know, a company that they own the no. rights to their water, to their fucking company. Do what the fuck you want with your company. No, no. Like oh, they why, own why, the yeah, rights I don't, yeah, to I don't, the water. Yeah. I didn't know that. And then what they're doing is they have these L5, uh, I'm sorry. Alfalfa? Alfalfa, thank you. (laughs) Uh, Plants that they're growing in the desert, using the water for that, and then they're exporting that. So are they shutting off water to people because they need water? They're minimizing how much water people can get. Because they got to use it for the alfalfa? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, well, out of country or not, I don't think anybody should be able to do that, even if you're in the U.S. I think think that's such an important component in our life. Like, we should have access to water. Yeah. I mean, it's sad to hear that some cities don't even have access to clean water. That's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. Isn't no. there like a Clean Water Act or something? Well, I mean, there's a lot of everything that is supposed to detail everything that everything you're not supposed to do, and then someone in the government doesn't give a fuck, so they do the opposite. So, I mean, there's a lot of things in place to protect a lot of these problems people have. But there's always some loophole or some, you know, legal bullshit like, oh, you know, it's it's uh, the verbiage was wrong and we had to change. Now, it's, now there's another lawsuit and, you know, we'll put a stay on and we'll put a temporary hold. Whatever the fuck's going to be. There's always a way around it. And, and, and it really doesn't have to be that difficult. I mean, but like you said, I don't I don't think I don't think any business should control water to a residential area, regardless if you're an outside entity from overseas or a, a U.S. A, a U.S. company. You know, yeah, but like no for fucking water. We're like seventy five percent water in this fucking well, planet, right? Drinkable water is less. But you treat it and you can make it fucking drinkable. Yeah, it's very expensive and difficult Sp- to remove salt water, uh, Sp- salt from from ocean water. Speaking of which, so I don't know if this, is, and I don't, I wasn't prepared to talk about it, but I heard about it. Uh, there is this company in California, I believe, that is taking wastewater from apartment buildings and recycling it to make beer. Oh, come on. Yeah. Swear to God. Well. As if there's not a fucking problem in San Francisco. You said wastewater, and I just finished drinking a sour. (laughs) Yeah. It was probably not a sour before you had it. (laughs) All right. So I got new beer for us. Yeah, new beer. Because you were talking about L.A. sewer water used for fucking (laughs) beer. That's disgusting. But I don't know if they're the only ones. There might be someone else. Come on. No. no. They're the only ones because it's in L.A. <laughs> I don't know if it's L.A. I said California. <laughs> so it's probably L.A. You said. You said, said L.A. I said California. Do that little stupid rewind thing you did. Yeah. 
California they're using. See? Mm. Repeat. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it's Lunkenheimer, Blood Orange. Yeah. Craft Brewing Company, uh, Kolsch Style L, brewed oh. with blood orange, pure light uh, body. Oh, this is award-winning beer. I know. Uh, 5% ABV. And where are these guys out of? Wheatsport, New York. Ooh, close. So that's nowhere near the Finger Lakes, just for your reference. <laughs> because you said that earlier. No, in, in their... Well, let me read this to you. <laughs> Our story... <laughs> Lackenheimer Craft Brewing Company is a family-owned small batch brewery in the historic Erie Canal village of Wheatsport, New York. Our beers are bright, smooth, and balanced. Oh, you're spilling your shit, man. Oh, fuck. Yeah. The fuck? Thank it's like you. you got the drip. Well, I was You need opening. penicillin. <laughs> I, I can't hear you. I got an ear infection. I need some penicillin. Where was I? Um, They're in Wheatsport. Yeah, emphasis on classic style made with traditional ingredients. At like La, La, uh, La, I can't fucking, Lunkenheimer, your pour is always fresh and glass always half full. Our doors are open to everyone from near or far who wants to enjoy some of the first finest doggone brewery in the Finger Lakes. Mm -hmm. I, I like they say doggone because they got a dog on their, yeah. on their can. So see, they're saying Finger Lakes. That's yeah. where I got it from. Hmm. In finger, in finger lake. I'm gonna fucking finger lick you. You can finger lick me all you want. Not <laughs> finger lick, finger lick. <laughs> but yeah, so um, blood orange. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be good. I like Kolsch. I just like those things. Yeah. And I'm gonna pour it correctly this time. Um, correctly, incorrectly. Nobody's judging you. No one's charging me. Judging you. Um. So we'll talk about this. But then the last beers we had. Uh, I just didn't, we didn't mention it. It's got a fucking phenomenal can art. The Millhouse Brewing. This one? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool can art. What's ph phenomenal about it? It's fucking great looking. And it says threesome. <laughs> threesome. <laughs> that's why I got <laughs> yeah. category. Oh, wait. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, we graded, we graded them. Yeah, we both said. Man, this is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this. Blood orange. I like it. Cheers. Yeah. What is it? I fucking smack it. Yeah. Not over the computer, please. Don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, you can smell the orange. Mm, this is good. Yeah, you could smell this whole or every Even when drinking, like, you know. Yeah. This I, I I could, like, set this on the counter just let, let it fucking evaporate like a air freshener. <laughs> <laughs> Probably be cheaper those fucking air fresheners, <laughs> <You know? laughs> or a candle. You get smoke. I just fucking leave this sitting there. Just like fucking. Air. What's that? What's that, honey? I just let it go. It's an air freshener. I like, I like this new scent we have in the what house. It? <laughs> it's eau de Lunkheimer. <laughs> have you ever had a blood orange? Mm -hmm. I think I have. Yeah. I don't know if I've had theirs. No, like actual blood orange fruit. I'm talking about. Oh, I don't know. I thought we were still talking about beer. I don't think I've had the actual orange. Well, this is part Aren't of... Aren't they big, fat, nasty oranges? Like they're big? What? No, blood orange is about the same size as a regular orange, but when you open it, it's like really red inside. No, then I haven't had those because sometimes I call those grapefruit. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> and the grapefruit is more pink inside. Than, mm, than it's all pink inside. inside. If it's pink inside, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, no, so I've not had... I've seen the blood orange, and I, I know what you're talking about with the color, but I don't know that I've ever eaten one of those. Oh, like, wow. you know what else is good? You ever had uh, sumo mandarins? No. Oh, it's so Why good. do they call them sumo? Why do they like... I don't know. Why do they gotta do that? The sumo wrestler pooped them out. Yeah, but all I can think of is our fucking episode with the sumo wrestler with the, with the <laughs> vagina on his I back. Forgot, I forgot what it was yeah. about. Yeah. Oh, like, speaking of sumo wrestler, I saw this funny picture. Someone at work took a picture of a, a sumo wrestler and taped it right over where the coffee dispenses. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get coffee, yeah. it looks like it's coming out of a <laughs> gas. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these fuckers are pretty intelligent. You know? <laughs> workplace humor. Yeah, you really need that because it's a fucking weird world, right? Oh, we have this. Um, you ever watch this movie called Office Space? Yeah. It's yeah, like is it, an older is, is movie. Is Jennifer Aniston in it? 
Uh, or that guy who's like, yeah, so why don't you just go ahead and come in this weekend? That'd be great. Is that the guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Is Jennifer Anderson in it? I thought she was. Maybe not. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I have this old printer, and I want to do this scene when they take that scanner in the field. Oh, yeah. And, you yeah. know, there's like a rap music playing and they go all gangster on it. <laughs> and the camera view is like from the printer. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to think. That's right. How we can do that incorporated into yeah, like Bruce and Banter fucking GoPro. Cause she was a GoPro. No, no, no. I know how to film it, yeah. what I'm saying, or film it. Record, yeah. Yeah, Gen X. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Film it. Yeah. You gotta roll down your windows. Yeah. yeah. Hey, roll down your yeah. window. <laughs> you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> dial my number. Yeah, dial it, right. <laughs> oh, no, look. Yeah, call me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> rotary phone. Yeah. I, um, I miss a rotary phone. I was just watching a movie where they had to use it. They have this, like, great technology. Where, where's, the, where's it going to end? When they start making old movies, they, you can't find that fucking... Fo- I mean, those probably... No, no, no they, they, the movie was... What's that actress? Gal Gadot, the one. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. That's Wonder Woman. Yeah, so she yeah. plays in this in this movie I just watched, and they have this like smart. The, the it's called the heart, and it's this like AI smart computer. Hmm. So they have like all this like holographic touching and all that stuff. Like, movie, I never heard of this. And then so the the power all shut down, and they're like use landline. So they whip this <laughs> rotary phone. They plug in. It's working. So. The camera shoots at like uh, her finger, uh. and they show her dialing. Yeah, I remember like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she answers in her earpiece. Yeah. <laughs> it's a modern movie, though. Those, you can't kill those things, man. There's no EMP or whatever. But people, you can't use them now, right? They're not functional now. Well, if you have a landline, you can Are use they? it. Yeah, why not? I don't. Know. I don't know. They made them still. Um, they might still make them. Yeah. No. But yeah, I mean, if you have a landline, plug it in, it works. We were. Um, I was talking, you know, we, we, we've mentioned this before, like bad shit happens on the school bus. I wasn't on the school bus, but I was talking at work because that also takes place with these conversations and the shit that comes up, but we were talking about a tournament. And, um, I mean, we had another, we had another tournament we'll announce that's a legitimate tournament, but we we're talking about this tournament and we wanted to call it like, we'll come up with a name, but it's basically a hairy vagina tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> like, we gotta have this people. Hairiest? So we gotta put people like everybody submits if they have a hairy vagina, and then we gotta decide like when you want your blind draw whose vagina is hairier. <laughs> Wait, this was on the school bus? No, I'm not on a school bus. Oh, I said this is at work. Oh, okay, <laughs> man. So I heard school bus. No, then I blacked out, and then I heard the hairy vaginas. <laughs> yeah, it was fourth grade. <laughs> No, we're at, we're at work, and we're just okay. talking about these. Since we're we're gonna, we're gonna have these two vaginas against each other, mm-hmm. and then who's ever hairier goes to the second round, and then we're gonna keep doing that, and then and then the two hairiest vaginas make it to the end, <laughs> and then you gotta shave your vagina, and whoever loses the most weight wins. <laughs> oh, like <laughs> how much hair? Yeah, <laughs> like like your beard for that, for instance. Like if someone's vagina was like that, they'd win. Yeah, like if I if, if I went like this, <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> so is it is it based on square inch covered or length of the hair which is hairier it's subjective i mean you know there's got to be a lot of things involved here so, so we we're talking about because like, like someone was saying like you know once they you got that does that include the hair that goes like outside of their underwear or their bikini line like down their legs like you know how like oh yeah like how far i had like lamb the, chops well yeah. yeah so i started calling them clam chops <laughs> <laughs> like so what, is that part of it like how far yeah, the like, clam what's chops the territory <laughs> yeah <laughs> clam chops and maybe we so at the end maybe we could just weigh the hair like whoever has more you know, i wonder hair. is is like a brunette hair heavier than like a red hair like density yeah like if you were to weigh <laughs> there's got to be a study out there like if you but well, it doesn't, we don't have to we don't have to limit this to vaginas it can also be penises mm-hmm. but i'm not going to be judging that <laughs> like you know someone else can handle that that's your work situation no, that's, that's not mine uh, you know I, I don't i'm not i'm not targeting 
women here. We'll we'll do everything, but like I'm not I'm not grading penises. I don't want to see that. Then you guys do like hairy assholes. Nope, nope. Still not doing that one either. <laughs> <laughs> hairy chest. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> hairy nipples. Nope. Hairy armpits. Out. No. <laughs> not doing it. You know, you're saying like that, like hairy vaginas. You might. You might be surprised how bad it could be. <laughs> I, 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 I am a bit fearful, but I also know this is never going to happen. So yeah, exactly. it helps me sleep at night. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the clam chops. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, was there something else you are going to bring up? Mm-hmm. Oh, our, our website's under construction. Yeah, the new website. Yeah, so that should be done, I don't know. Hopefully within the next month or so. Yeah, it was, um, it's a, I didn't realize how many steps were involved in this thing. Yeah. You know, but we'll talk about those guys when it's done and we'll let, you know, we'll mention them, but yeah, it seems to work okay. So we could put everything in one. Like now we got a couple different spots for stuff, but we'll put the merchandise, everything on there. And yeah. Like I, I like to have everything under one, one link and then people can buy merch mm-hmm. or we'll have a section if they want to be on the podcast, they can fill out a yep. form. Yep. Um, excuse me. To be on the uh, guest on the podcast, uh, but it's just gonna be more professionally designed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the template we picked? I mean, I know I know what it Excuse was, me. what we called it, but like it's a. It was like a. It's it just more modern and like temp- yeah. yeah, really cool. It's uh, mobile friendly, yeah. or, or mobile um, com- uh, not com- compatible, uh, comparable thing, compatible. Mm-hmm. Thank you, boy. Not well, comparable. I, no, I don't know what's compatible. Um. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited yep. for that. Uh, I think we're getting close. Yeah. And. Uh, we're also like um, 30, 40 followers away from 2,500 on Instagram. Yeah, I'm excited to do that so we can pick a winner. Did we decide what that what that giveaway is going to be yet? I think we're just going to put something together mm-hmm. with, with our merch and uh, send it in. So then we're going to just get this auto generator thing that would put 2,500 names in some sort of pot to. Mm-hmm. I think. It, so that, I, know, I know there's something electronic we can just. Yeah, pfft. through the computer is yep. much easier. You just. Uh, export, import mm-hmm. the list of names, and then it'll automatically yep. pick one. Yep. I think we should do a second place also. Well, then what's keeping us from doing third place? If we stop at two, then you can. <laughs> <laughs> <I guess. laughs> there. That was stupid. That's how it works. Gosh, I told you. See, that's why AI would never copy no, us. No, no. Hmm. Um. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, yeah. we're, we're close to that also. And uh, um, I know we also got to do the next pound round. So I think our next episode is going to be pound round. Okay. So. Let's do that. And then. That, pound round we, for, for this guy. Yeah. You know, this little. And then you earn what? You daddies? Fella. Yep. You daddies. We're five you daddies? Five you daddies. And. Uh, oh, I'm going to fuck you up. You're going to fuck wait. you up. You had me. You had. Fuck you. You had me a fuck you. <laughs> I had you before that. That's why you're here. I um. Do you want to? One other thing I saw. So you see these. Okay. You see these. Um. Because Oktoberfest is coming on. Some people have Oktoberfest in October. Some have it in September. But these fucking German people, or where the fuck they are, like just those big fucking, um, uh, mugs of beer. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what size those are. Like thirty six ounces or some bullshit. Like they're, they're they're huge. fucking big, right? But those girls are you know delivering these things to everybody and like so i saw one girl it's walk impressive how they carry like 10 15 yeah, of them but they're, they're big so i don't really know what it's called but her little caption on the thing was follow the leader l-i-t-e-r <laughs> follow the leader, leader of yeah. beer you know yeah i'm like oh, that's pretty fucking cool <laughs> so we should play follow the leader sometime i don't know how we would do this i just throw shit out and then i hope like we how do you around. play that i don't get it I don't know, like, how do they write movies and shit? Like, someone comes up with an idea, and they write they shit They sit down it. with some smart writers. Right, and they write so I want to meet some smart writers, and I want to throw an idea out there, and they just write around it. Like, follow a leader. So, are, are, is Bruce and Benton going to shoot a movie? I'd love to shoot a movie. <laughs> yeah, but see, the thing is, I, I want to do all these different things. Mm-hmm. But shooting a movie, us, it, it would look so amateur. It's, I don't like watching those ones. Yeah, you know, I'd love to be involved in a movie of some sort. I mean, first of all, I want to get us a beer <laughs> we can be in a category of like the indie movie yeah and, and people love that and i would love to do it but i just don't i don't want to sacrifice quality for just to satisfy well, something we want to what do what would be the movie about 
it has to be beer involved. Yeah, but I don't know if I'd make a comedy. I'd make it both, like a, a dramedy. <laughs> a drama and a comedy. A drama. Right? Is that what it's called? Like a dramedy? I don't know. There's no such thing. Or how about an action comedy? I don't, I don't know what I would do, but... Um, I guess action... Um, I do have an idea I, I came across on the way. It was actually on the way to work today of an, of a movie idea. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. To, I had the whole plot of like what I wanted to happen, how it was going to happen, but I have no fucking patience to write shit and like do all the other stuff. Well, for a movie, you need a script. Right, so someone else will write that. Check. And then you need equipment. Someone else? Check. <laughs> <laughs> and then you need where you're going to be filming. Yeah, Occasions. Check. Doesn't matter where we're from. <laughs> Permits. We'll pick it up. <laughs> well, you got to go to Georgia because I Why guess Georgia? everybody films in Georgia. I think it's really cheap to get permits like Ozarks and stuff like that. But then they, uh-huh. the government did something and pissed them off. I think that's why Ozark quit filming. Did you watch that? I watched that, yeah. Yeah, I think that's why they quit filming because of something that Georgia changed or they supported something that the people making the movie didn't support and there's kind of a clash. I don't know if it had something to do with gay rights or gun rights or what what the fuck it was. You know, speaking of movies, do you know what happened with uh, Alec Baldwin? Like, what had come of that um, shooting? There's a settlement. Oh, really? They settled. So, He's I mean, not going to jail. I'm sure. No, I'm sure there's a fuckload of money and and nobody could talk about it. That's kind of how it happened. I'm sure because I, 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 I saw I, I saw that about it. And, I saw there was a settlement. Yeah, oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Maybe. And then he's coming to some uh, in Syracuse some. Some festival, maybe the landmark or something, or he's gonna maybe some movie premiere where he's gonna be the host or something. Oh, I'm not going, I'm not getting shot. Oh, no, thank you. No, <laughs> but we are going to the whatever festival name it is in, in November, the craft beer festival. Uh, where is that? Landmark, landmark, yeah. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I don't know even what date that is. Let me see if I could come up with a name really quick here because, um. I know it's going to be on a Saturday, so we will call it the, no, nope, we're not going to call it that. Let's call it this. Nope, nope, not going to be that. Oh, it is that. It is the Craft Beer Fest at Landmark. What's the date? November 18th. Nice. I have it in here. See? Very good. So. You're organized. So, um... Excuse me. You got a lot going on there, Roman. Oh, we got to grade this beer. Forgot. Well, it's already got fruit in it. So, like, for me, if you have fruit, you're automatically, like, that's, like, two plus. Like, you're starting at two. Because if I have a beer that's shitty, you're going to get a shitty one. But this is not shitty. I'm just saying you're already at two. So, it's above that, yeah. So, it's, I mean, if they could add, like, some protein, like a little prime rib and, like, maybe a fucking sliver of celery... Cover all in because I already got oats and shit. So like you know, it's got all the. We need dairy, but I don't want fucking lactose. So oh, cows are dairy. We have beef in there. Yeah, that's dairy. <laughs> <laughs> so if I come visit you at home one day, and I bring fruit, I'm automatically at two. Yeah, but then I see you, and you're back down to one. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're with the fruit, you fucking. And then you want protein? I whip out my sausage. That's what three and a half. Four now? Three and a half, four inches. <laughs> right. If you whip out your sausage. <laughs> what, like what did we do today? Oh, so so Roman, uh, we were going to meet at the studio, and I said, already thinking of you, and I sent him a picture of a hot dog. I said, are you ready to go? <laughs> and you're like, already thinking of you. <laughs> yeah, and I sent, him, I sent him a picture of a hot dog I was eating for dinner, and then he sent me back a video of a kibasi. Like He's like, I'm going to think of you, fold you in half. <laughs> like, I'm going to fold of you half. too. And I fold it in half. <laughs> I make pickled kibasi. You know that? You like pickled stuff? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. I got some. Do you ever drink pickle juice? Yeah. I bought some at the farmer's market a couple of weeks ago. Just juice? Just juice. And like the lady couldn't really tell us what to use it for. Mm-hmm. She's like, you take a shot of it. You could use it for salad dressing. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? Maybe I could use it for deodorant because there's no fucking aluminum in it. Yeah, if you put that under your armpits, don't fucking come near me. <laughs> I'll teabag it. Yes. I'm going to get a fresh shave on and just bleep. Can you imagine sweat and pickleballs? Pickle That's what pickleballs is. Oh. You hear that new sport, pickleball? 
That's what it is. No. You shave your nuts, you dip in pickle juice, that's pickleball. New sport. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard of pickleball? No. That's a new sport. Like, it's like fucking taking over the country. It's sort of like racquetball or something like that. It's not that popular. It is that popular. No, I don't know about it. So. Oh, well, because you fucking fuck. Fuck. Well, no, that's it. <laughs> I, just, I couldn't no, tell. Nothing. Off. Nothing. But I'm serious. It is nothing. It is. worth it. It's a stupid fucking sport. <laughs> <laughs> SP. S. I'd play chess before I want to know what that means. I play chest. <laughs> I play chess. Play my chest. I play chest. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So I mentioned website. Yep. Uh, Twenty five hundred coming up. Yeah, we got a lot going. A lot of lot of uh, interviews. Bunch of interviews. We need to somehow get to. Um, we'll make time. We'll we'll figure something out. Um, anything else? Maybe some festivals. Yeah, we got some. Probably in spring or f- late summer next year. Okay. I mean, unless we can find something in between, but uh, we, our schedule has got to coordinate with that. So, you know, either way, just things for, uh, for people to look out for. And so we, in the website, we're going to have a section where people want, you know can sign up to be on a podcast as guests. Mm-hmm. But even if you know you don't have to wait for the website to be ready if you if you would like to be on the podcast uh reach out to us yep yeah and we, we'll I mean, make time and then we'll happy to have a guest on and um you know we don't we don't script anything and we talk like this and that's what people yeah. can expect on an interview like you know, we're, we're, there's no there's not gonna be any any downtime there's not gonna be like yeah dead space like like twiddling or something think about what the fuck to talk about no we'll no. find shit to talk about yeah you know and i think after this we're probably gonna do an instagram live anyway just to fucking bless yeah. that out too yeah and then it, it, we can do remote too, so like you don't have to be, mm-hmm. you know, around here. So we can, uh, yeah, we can do, do phone it. calls. We can do, uh, yeah. we can do. Well, we'll do we'll do video. We we'll do yeah. um, a stream, stream yard. yard. Yep. Yeah. We'll Jinx. send. We'll send you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you a link and we'll connect and make sure you have good internet connection. Yeah. Yep. Good lighting. That's all. Good stuff. So thank you, everyone. Uh, we appreciate you following us, uh, listening, commenting. Um, it really shows on social media how uh, involved you guys are with us. It helps. Yep. Yeah, we appreciate it, and we're going to keep going. And uh, yeah, you know, we hit a little bit of a hiccup there. I think mid episodes from where we are now, just sort of figuring things out because it it grew quicker than we thought. We were trying to catch up. Now I think we're kind of caught up. We got a great a great fucking editor. Yeah. You know, so that's working out great. We got our social media managers in place and yeah, he's, that, that's he, perfect too. He's also like learning our, our style, what we're doing and, and he's trying to edit to kind of fit how, how, mm-hmm. you know, our personalities are and how we're, we want our videos to be. Uh, so he's great and, and, and we're fortunate to have mm-hmm. Yeah. Our sound is, I mean, we had one episode three, I think that was bad, but our sound's always been pretty good, but this is for the, you know, not audio only listeners, the, the uh, YouTube videos is really where he's, he's shining for us. And mm-hmm. like I said, the, the social media manager we have in place is also working out great for us. So, um, yeah, we'll keep plugging along. All right. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Bye.